before we start, me and Danny just have to offer an official apology to all the primals for spending the last six to eight months, half an hour of podcast talking about how obviously natural the liver king was. We were wrong. We were wrong. No one could have seen that coming. That was a mistake that we made. I am absolutely blindsided by this. I've never I saw it coming. That looks like a natural body. If I've ever seen one. Some of you may have heard me at bars and in my public life, standing on tables, screaming at the top of my lungs, he's fucking natty. I mean, he's, he's obviously natty. was natty. At least it seemed that way. I will still be eating the raw meat. That is something that I do. I'm not going to be giving up that part of my lifestyle. That's how our ancestors did it. No, that's how they did it. And I got a real taste for balls. I got a taste for balls. I actually, what I do is I go to the grocery store and I don't even pay for it. I eat, I just uh, put a bunch in my cart and then I eat it. And then afterwards, I eat the wrapper too because our ancestors didn't uh, they would have eaten the wrapper they would have had wrappers but true primals true ancestral way to do it is you go to a farm punch a cow in the face until it's dead I've watched you do that rip the balls out and then just eat them like an apple I've watched you do that it got me hyped up and I'm ashamed to say that after that is when I yelled at the top of my lungs if he's on roids I'll cut my dick off yeah that is a mistake I made that was a mistake but I think we should all just let bygones be bygones and not hold Ryan to that just yeah i might have said that but i'll see if i do i my dick is roided so i don't even want to cut it off because someone will try to eat it one of right. the primals i'll will try probably to, try to eat daniel it. try to eat the hog and then yeah. realize he's eating a roided hog and our ancestors wouldn't have done that also me and danny were on roids we apologize yeah for that. sorry about that i uh fucked up there some yeah, that's our bad yeah i was getting shot up with all sorts of stuff ah, that's our bad we made a deal we were sort of disappointed because we thought obviously we we're gonna do a little bit of roids yeah obviously but just the liver king went, we didn't we weren't doing 10k a month but every everyone in the comment has been accusing us of juicing yeah i know so Man. i guess we should just put the, that to rest i guess the cat's out of the bag we're just gonna move on and i ate the cat danny ate the cat well that's how your ancestors would have done it the primals so apologize for that that All is right, a mistake we made we're just gonna move on and have a good episode sorry primals the boys the the lads the In other news, <laughs> <laughs> in other news, we were the boys guest was right on our sketch that the Canadian truckers were going to have to go to Shanghai. Yeah. And that, that is what's happening right now. Shanghai. So you, I feel like you follow this a little more than me. Yeah. But the I, I, the truckers are out there being like, we're gonna have to fucking come over there, bud. Yeah. I think Justin Trudeau is just uh, go over there and have a little fucking Donnie Brook with a little Xi Jinping, eh? <laughs> That's a What's a Donnie Brook? Donnie Brook's just like a fight. <laughs> Why? That's a good one. It's actually a real word. <laughs> I, I've heard it used in <laughs> hockey and like letter candy and stuff. And I'm like, I don't. They I, say we're gonna have, have a Donnie Brook. Fucking Donnie Brook, bud. <laughs> I was going to have to go on there. Fucking and full yard sale in, in uh, Beijing, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yard sale, I know. Yeah. We're going to turn Gigi Ping into a ping pong ball. <laughs> the way that we're going to be tossing him around. Just shooting, just a ping pong ball shooting out of a hooker's you-know-what oh, there, bud. fuck yeah, bud. I'll tell you what. Uh, you <laughs> you want to fucking, there's going to be problems right now. I think Tim should start, stop serving chicken noodle soup. Just, oh, well, we're going to be Just boy- out of spite. We got to boycott the Tims in Canada so that they shut them down over in China. Shut the Tim down over in china if you want to fucking if you want to we're about to drop the gloves and just pop over there <laughs> the, you know, the balls on tr- the, if you will say it's like there's a lot of these people that we know where it's like y- you kind of see them go on and say all the causes they support and all that stuff and the yeah. piece of shit like you know what i mean of course especially in this industry because you go we're Maybe there's some other scum of your industries, like if you're like a legitimate like tobacco company or whatever, yeah, or like yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like an oil CEO maybe, mm-hmm. where you're, you're legitimately dumping all the oil. Of course, on the, you know what whatever. Like, that's yeah. But it, it's like there's not many industries you find shittier people than like Hollywood in terms of like you know that's why all the time it's the actor that everyone finds out that he was you know the worst guy in set yelling and screaming and then he's all talking about love James and all Gordon. the causes he's whatever the cord, right the cord man it's like the tale is all this time of course but you have to all 
there is some level where you have to uh, say the balls on Trudeau to after everything that happened in the last year and a half to go out and be like, you know, protesters in China should be allowed to protest the lockdowns. <laughs> you go, but it's almost crazy. I feel like so you know the whole thing is because he was a drama teacher. Is there any way he like just in he gets private, into character? But he's watching Alex Stein videos and he goes, you know what? I like this kind of trolling. I'm gonna do this. You think Anna. Trudeau's a troll? I mean, either that or he's able to compartmentalize in a way that someone's been like abused, you know, and they go like, where they go like, oh, I don't remember that. I didn't. And you go, really? You don't remember the most like traumatic thing that happened? You go, yeah, it's just, it's gone. (laughs) There's something going on, but he How can you a year apart? He probably does get into character as like the guy he comes out. He goes, I'm going to be a guy that likes protesters now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? It was more the opposite. He had to be a guy that didn't like protesters (laughs) when the Chato was right there, the the Ottawa voice. (laughs) But it sounds like he just does what's ever convenient for old Justin. Well, yeah, he, he well he basically said the ones in Canada were a threat to democracy. I know, <laughs> and now he's saying that the we should. The, well, I guess he goes. Well, they don't really have democracy yeah, over so there. What so what, what are we threatening? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking nerve on him though, and that's the thing too. Yeah, the whole incredible. The whole scrum of reporters is always people on his side because oh, like, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. question him, then you don't get to be part of that thing is that what happens with a lot of the political reporters if you ask the wrong questions they kick you out because the rebel news for a while they were they had some reporter did trump kick out of a lot of reporters i think trump no so trump would just straight up not uh, let them ask questions he would just "Eh, that guy so he let them come but he didn't want to which honestly is not way different from any politicians i guess but yeah i guess in canada they were i think they booted somebody it was either from i think it was rebel someone straight up was like yeah i mean we're we're a news organization and whether you like us or not like what we say and then we should be allowed to ask the prime minister questions and then they got like i guess they could probably make some arguments like oh your reach isn't big enough or whatever they could probably make arguments like that they probably give a fucking like a you know college newspaper a pass <laughs> yeah, sure. as long as they're asking the right questions <laughs> Well, I was I res, I almost respect the balls to like just within a year. It's a, he's he's it's a bit at this. He's doing a bit. Well, in other <laughs> hockey news, speaking of this is the Canada corner, but it's not Canada corner because it's not a Canadian team. But yeah. I feel like hockey news is Canadian corner. Probably one of the funniest, um, the funniest, Such a bizarre the funniest thing. cancellations. Lightning's Pat Maroon mocked by broadcaster, and then he donates to charity. But so I, I'm going to read it because it is the most like Canadian. The fact that so basically the broadcaster said this, and everyone was up in arms for fat shaming the hockey yeah. player. Yeah. Goes, fat shaming a professional athlete who's <laughs> objectively not fat at he all. He goes, Maroon listed at 238 pounds. The 65 year old broadcaster. Oh, I'm reading the intro part. Okay, so yeah, yeah. the 65 year old, <laughs> the 65 year old broadcaster said, "That was day one of training camp. I got a feeling he's had a few more pizzas between then and now." <laughs> inadvertently fasting inadvertent fasting for maroon is like four hours without a meal but hey he's won a couple stanley cups in a row so who can argue with the formula <laughs> he that's, literally won three that, cups in a row that is the most like a uh, hockey announcer voice oh yeah oh yeah P- couple yeah he's had a couple pizzas before <laughs> then hey uh, you know, and the- it's so weird because you watch the video he's just like skating around he's just like has the puck in his own zone like nobody around and the guy just is like yeah look at that fat fuck skating around over there. <laughs> he's not fat he's just like a he's a big guy he's a professional so you athlete. think he was being fat shamed <laughs> He wasn't being fat shamed. It was like, it just didn't make sense because you're like, he's not fat. He, I guess he's a little big for a hockey player. For I mean, a professional he, yeah, athlete. Yeah, yeah, He's not like a super ripped chisel, dude. He's like, I mean, he's no different than Phil Kessel. Like for anybody, if, it's right there. If anybody like watches hockey, like Phil Kessel forever right. was like, he loves hot dogs and he, <laughs> you know, doesn't like to work out and stuff and all that, you know, and he, he looked like a normal dude. Like I saw Phil Kessel in person. And you're like, he looks like a real, just the most normal guy. Well, they have a, I guess they have a team of people at the NHL that tries to like squell all these things. Of so course. I th- but they, and then what well, happened was no he, fat shame. He donated two thousand dollars which is a slap in the face of a donation from an nhl player right of course but i was thinking that if an nhl power re- move though against this against against, against the Boston broadcaster too. and they're like better they're not super rivals but you know they're two of the best teams in the division so a little salt on boston bruins i think if the nhl really cared though they would do something like uh be like hey we're now having extra butter on all the popcorn because they say they go, "Hey, we have we're against fat shaming." Yet, 
you don't really see any fat people in the NHL. <laughs> yeah. So I think what should happen is, yeah, the NHL should be like, hey, now we're having like a really fat mascot. We're hiring like a fat person to be the star center, like all of that sort of stuff. Get Lizzo promoting the NHL, maybe hire Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do we hire Lizzo to promote the NHL? Well, they say After she's done promoting. They say they're against fashion, and then when it comes down to it, you look at the team and you go, "Are you though? Are you though?" I say free popcorn on the. This is you know this is how I get something out of it. I go every every ticket comes with a free free hot dog. And free refills on popcorn from now on because we're we don't think there's anything wrong. That is no. sort of fat phobic for me to finish my popcorn and they'd be like, "You can buy another one." It's like, well, why is someone that eats more popcorn than someone else? Why should I have to pay more money? That's true for my allotted amount of popcorn or, just because I can ha- handle more popcorn. Or maybe players are not allowed to practice. Like, no working out. Let's get them like kind of fatter. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's get the players fatter though. Yo, you know what? I actually just remembered to show you. What? Okay, do you remember we talked about the 21 Summit thing? Yeah. So it's like the summit. So basically, like the Patriarch Fest. <laughs> Patriarch Fest. Yeah. yeah. And so essentially, what happens at this summit is uh, that people come, and it was like, uh, the, well, the funny. Part, it was like a red pill summit kind of thing, right? It was like a super red pill. Yeah. Summit. Well, on yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. actual steroids, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the funny part. And this is relates to the fact that that's why I'm saying it. The funny part was you could bring your wife to the conference, but so I someone sent me one of the videos <laughs> from the thing. Okay, so this is what I was saying, like on the bad thing. Okay, listen to this video of this is what was going on at the at the conference. We need to make women thin again, American women right now. So obesity, of course, America has a huge obesity problem. People are fucking fat. You know, it actually affects women even worse than men. So my view, I've said this before on Twitter and stuff. American women today are the fattest women in the history of this planet. As far as I know, that's true. There's a couple small countries I checked, like really. Yo, how good is it bringing your wife to that though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been telling you to work out more. Yeah, that's the part that I was loving. Is they they have the, like the family pass where you can bring your wife. No, <laughs> what was the, the best part? Is like she wanted to go to Italy and you took her to Patriarch Fest as your plus one. <laughs> You got this guy's really smart. He has some good insight. Yeah. Your your wife had put on twenty pounds after the kid, <laughs> and you sit her down. He goes, "All right, everyone, sit down." American women are fat slobs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now who, that was the, they were the ones who did also that one clip where they're like, "Who here has ever had sex with an escort?" Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Four yeah, thousand yeah, yeah. times. Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. But the best part is, uh, yeah, you're being, like selling it because he is have a sales pitch because you bring your fat wife and he goes, "It's actually worse for women." And you go, I, "It's not even affecting me. This is for you, I think." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it was like it's objectively, you, it's objectively pretty bad. The best for the guy. too is like you don't even get like a uh, in shape woman. Like they don't hire like a super based in shape woman to be like ladies let's get fit this is like the main guy in a maga hat guy in a maga hat it's like listen up you fat fucking pigs time to eat less and suck your man's dick more how does that sound yeah it's just like you brought me to this <laughs> yeah, yeah, happy birthday we couldn't watch this at home happy birthday i love that they can't even put the this thing in. they can't even like list where it is and stuff because why because well, they'll get protested yeah, and stuff. Yeah, people will show up and screw with them. Some of you women uh, probably had to be brought in here with a crane. I'm looking <laughs> at some disgusting pigs right now. I feel sorry for your husbands. They're probably going to leave you unless you get in shape, but it's actually for you. Because <laughs> here's, everybody listen to this sound. Beep, beep, beep. You know what that sound is? It's the sound of you walking backwards, you fat fucks. Yeah, that's the sound of you walking backwards. So... <laughs> And then, so I just love the idea of all of the, the, they have that and you can bring your wife to it. <laughs> Same. Oh, this festival rules. Yeah, some probably, you know, there's one person who's like, is there a daycare? Can we bring the kids? Yeah, the kids. And are then like, there's like, so super based kids, like super based babysitters. Your mom's a tub of lard. Yeah. You know, it was because like some six year old be like, you ever heard of Andrew Tate? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what's making me laugh is like a sketch? Um, because, do you know, I, I, like I've sort of said this on stage, but, because everyone's an influencer right now, they have a lot of, uh, you'll have the guy that, you know, is like the inspirational influencer that you know is like his life's in shambles. You yeah, know what yeah I mean? of course. All the girls who are dating coaches that like can't, you know, get a relationship kind of thing, right? Oh, life coach is one of my favorite things. As it's a, ins- just the concept. Oh, it's literally someone that doesn't do that great at life yeah. telling you how to run your life, you know? And they're trying, yeah, they're trying to like 
do it by doing this thing, which makes no sense. Well, that is half of Instagram right now is people that like tell you how to get rich and how they got rich was by telling you how to get rich. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> which is the perfect scam. Like, Are you rich? And they're like, not yet. But if you <laughs> if take I my tell advice. Enough, if I, it's a pyramid scam of getting rich a little bit because yeah. you tell enough people to get rich, then they pay you to tell them how to get rich and then you become rich. Sure. And then you can keep the thing going, it's right? the ultimate in faking it until you make it, I guess. That, that is... Of all the faking until you make it, yes. His life coach. But I like the inspirational thing. I, I used to say that joke where it'd be the guy wake, like smoking a bong like, and then running the cameras like, you know, rise and grind every morning. You're like, I mean, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah. like, it's not really that big of a rise and exactly grind. rising and grind. Because we all, we, I know tons of those people that like, right. especially in like when I was like the Toronto kind of like the, I don't know what scene you'd call it, but like people that are like on the scene. Entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, or like even guys that were like party guys, like a very big like club promotery type. Coke heads. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but like, exactly. They like run a club night or whatever and have very much of like that kind of like, you got to do it. It's all grind all day. And you're just like, I mean, you run your like one thing all night. You know what sure, I mean? You, yeah, yeah, you yeah. mostly just post about your hustle. Yeah. About mostly post about the hustle. But I like the idea of a, a red pill guy, but like, cause there'll be some of these red pill guys that were talking about like getting pussy and you're kind of like, I mean, you probably don't. Right. So I like the idea of like a, a sketch where me and you wear the fat outfits <laughs> and we're like 400 pounds and we're telling like how to get women you know what I yeah, mean yeah. <laughs> like, like the and it's called like large red pill or something large red pill yeah, yeah. and it's like you're like the minute a girl turns 25 I puke <laughs> <laughs> you're just like on tinder or whatever but it's like pretty decent looking chicks you're like pat like, yeah, yeah, swiping yeah. left yeah, yeah, all yeah. of them if you, if, you, if, if you don't suck your man's dick 12 times a day <laughs> then you ain't for me we deserve 10s <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Only I, 10. I deserve a 10 this uh you're gross <laughs> I'm a, I'm a king. Any woman that doesn't have kids after 26 should be put in a blender. I mean, we didn't watch all the stuff from Patriarch. If you have more than three bodies, you're washed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only, I only smash girls with less than two bodies, and I smash 12 a day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we didn't watch all of Patriarch <laughs> Fest. That could have just been one of the segments. High-value man and a high-weighted man. <laughs> Isn't that a good sketch? Yeah, that's funny. Like just the fattest, slobbiest red pill guys just, that are like, yeah, like don't get it. You know, there's some else. They run like a crushing pussy podcast. <laughs> crushing pussy with hot, like what's, <laughs> what are our Buck and Chuck. Buck and Chuck, yeah. <laughs> Buck and Chuck's crushing pussy hour, right? That was making me fucking Oof. laugh. Man, that Patriot, we got to go to Patriarch first. Well, anyways, this was probably the best time. This is JJ said this, but it's the best time to have a scandal because of all the Kanye stuff. Like oh, yeah. anyone who had, like even the Liver King thing, like, uh, you know, all of every, most scandals just get disintegrated within 10 seconds. For sure. I, even, I actually was wondering last night, I go like, I wonder to what like degree my like back home friends even know about this. The Kanye stuff? Yeah. Are you crazy? I have so many friends who are like so out of the loop. Come on. Yeah. Like, does your dad know if you were, would your dad For know? sure. Yeah. I mean, my girlfriend didn't know who Alex Jones was. Come on. I swear to God. I go, yeah, did you see this Kanye Alex Jones? She goes, you got to take her to Patreon fest. <laughs> she is. She's going next year. Are you serious? She puts on one pound. I'm taking her. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, after I did the live stream or whatever, I go, I'm like, this, this is a wild uh, show. Uh, Kanye was on Alex Jones. She's like, who's Alex Jones? I'm like, and I live with her. Yeah, you know, that's a that's like almost a party <laughs> trick that you bring, like how sheltered your chick is that she doesn't know any of the things you bring her out to parties. You go, guys, guys, watch this. Like, hey, did you hear the new Alex Jones thing? She goes, I don't know Alex Jones. You just give everyone props. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, yeah, my girl's not on the internet finding out all the shit. <laughs> I mean, she knows all sorts of other nonsense. She just doesn't like. Yo. This is such a like. Sometimes I feel I'm like, are like, what degree? Because this is you know kind of our whole lives, like commentating and whatever being into this but then like I, when i go back home I'm like i'm gonna ask my friends like you following you this? say that more than me because to be honest all of my friends know about all this kind yeah, stuff yeah, or yeah. whatever I, I mean a lot of my friends like don't have social media okay but you just think of like joe rogan like what average dude doesn't know who that is no no no. i'm not talking about knowing joe rogan like I'm it's saying, pretty like, like this mainstream specific, yeah, yeah i i get it you d you do pride yourself in having these like few buddies that just are completely well i do off the i don't grid. know i have all these friends who are like don't aren't in any of this shit but i wonder i don't think i have a single though. body that doesn't know who alex jones is yeah yeah i mean dude the person i live with well sure <laughs> pretty sure my dog knows who alex she probably jones knows is. a list of like fashion brands though she probably knows random shit like that 
that. Of course. So I've met a couple of girls that might not know that stuff, but I bet you all those girls, if you said who like call her daddy was, mm-hmm. they know her, but they're not on TV. Of course, of course. They're podcasters. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that bloggers, like when the, there's like a whole staff of bloggers that are like, their main specialty is I can make a, a connection from anyone to a Nazi. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they, they were a story, we're going to write a story on this guy and it was kind of like, okay, well this guy, he said this to this guy and he knows this guy. So that that's, that's the connection of how he's basically like a Nazi, right? And then when this Kanye stuff happens, the guy just like has nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're yeah, they're like, like, all right, we're bringing the guy. You're going to connect Kanye to a Nazi. And he's like, I love Hitler. And you're like, I mean, you know what? We don't really need you. Yeah, he goes, yeah. This thing kind of writes itself. Okay, so Ooh. I had a- We kind of just threw this into the chat, GPT. We have a, we have a guest on the Ooh. podcast. A third- uh, Third guest. Daniel Polish Chuck. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is the worst bit of all time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Netanyahu was pretty bad. Netanyahu is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. So just for the listeners that Danny claims doesn't know what happened. No, our listeners, I would never <laughs> say anything about that. Okay, so he basically he had a, a a fishnet and then a bottle of Yahoo, and he said it was the Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> so it didn't even work that good. <laughs> Netanyahu. He should have had like a Yahoo search engine. Yo, Netanyahu is one of the craziest things. I've I saw ever a seen. tweet, but like the funniest. For thing people is- who don't know, I'm holding up a Polish flag <laughs> and a <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> this is my version. Oh, you're gonna uh, bust that out of you. Nothing I love more than high leverage crypto <laughs> trades. <laughs> The best though is like I put in sexual performances. I'm the best fuck you'll ever have. <laughs> For those of you who don't remember, Daniel's ex girlfriend said he was the best fuck she ever had. Oh yeah. He never stops. I'm raw. <laughs> <laughs> this is an impression of Danny. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, he's not even paying attention because he's trading crypto with his right hand and sending Ryan ideas for trades he should make with his left hand. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! So, imagine you're like in Paul, Aust- you're in Austin on that day. Polish Chuck's maybe my worst bit that I've ever. <laughs> no, it's good. Okay, we like Polish. Yeah, Chuck. I like that. I like it. For the audio listeners, there's a Chuck Taylor in my hand. Yeah, and a Polish flag. Um, I mean, there's work went into that. You got a pen and taped it to it. <laughs> taped the pen to a Polish sign. For people to think, well, we just show up and just do this. We do not. <laughs> but dude, like Kanye walking, Hi! Kanye walking into like a, you know, a pet store, like in Austin last week, being like, "Hey, do you have a, a fish oh. net?" <laughs> Like, did he buy the net himself? For sure, he did. <laughs> like, he's like, with, he's like, he's like, hey, so find out. We gotta make a stop to his driver. <laughs> Yo, Netanyahu is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I actually didn't even connect. I was just like, wait, what? And then I like we clicked that he was actually like the, he was like I'm the Israeli president, which yeah. I think he got fired or whatever. Right? Who? Then yeah, was he still? No, he's back. Oh, oh, what happened, you, you, dude? I don't. Know I thought he got voted out or whatever. He did like years ago, and then he just got reelected. Oh, he's back, dude. So oh, no there's, if you want to see like really people can't like that in the dude, Kanye go, circles. <laughs> go look at Jordan Peterson sat down for an hour with Benjamin Netanyahu. People don't like week. it. The comments are. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. <laughs> You're saying it's where the cruise to that comment section. Oh, that section. comment section. I was because the thing is, what are they? What are they saying about him? They're just like they're not happy. About dude, it. They're calling him um, J- Uden Peterstein. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, everybody loves Jordan Peterson, and then they're like, they love all these things about him. But he like works at Daily Wire, obviously. So uh-huh. Ben Shapiro obviously got. Well, I saw that Yahoo. Did, I'll tell you, he did uh, recently. He did like. On his thing, he did like a message to Muslims and a message to Christians, and everyone was like, "Forgetting one, <laughs> people weren't happy that he left one of them." Forgetting one, are we, JP? He didn't have a message to the Jewish community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, the comment section is a lot of just like a lot of like unsubscribed. <laughs> you lost me, Jordan Peterson. Is- I liked you up until this point, but this yeah, yeah, is my yeah. line. I'm fucking messing up my bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone that saw Jordan Peterson interviewing Netanyahu, <laughs> he goes and takes the blanket. Yeah, just <laughs> rah, 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 tosses his pillow off the bed. He goes, fuck <laughs> this shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I honestly I don't know why but I love when people uh, people have like hold someone to like so high a state the high they, esteem yeah, yeah. and then they like <laughs> clearly hold these beliefs that you could obviously extrapolate but then they show you that they have these beliefs and then they're like that's it <laughs> but you're like I could have told you he was pro-Israel like 
<laughs> like, <laughs> and he liked Jews. You're like, you knew that. Like, with very, he just never did. The okay, thing. Well, what about like, ah. what about this one, Daniel Radcliffe? And then you just do like you have like a like a rad sign, and then a, like a, a full cliff. You have a cl- cliff bar. <laughs> you have a cliff bar. A cliff bar, and then a rad. So you're Daniel Rod. Rod Cliff. Rod Cliff. So you have rad. rad. I, like th- I like this one better. Dan- Polish Chuck actually works pretty good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's what about a, a dam? Look at me! And an L. I lost all my money in SPF! (laughs) Sam Bamman Freed's my hero! You know that chick's in New York right now? I heard she's kicking around. Oh, fuck. There's another scandal that's going. How about Portman? And then, all right, I don't have any other good ones. Rubbing it Hold in on, how about this? Faces. So Portman for Natalie Portman, she was Jewish. We do you have like a port, like yeah. a the picture of like a like a sail port. Sure. What and about the wine? So, That's and the then, type of wine. And then uh, uh like someone other than you. <laughs> Any biological man. <laughs> We get the wine, the port wine. Okay, well, that was a scandal that sort of disappeared. Do you have any updates? I'll tell you what I say. Updates on what? (laughs) SBF. She's fuck. What do you mean? (laughs) You're in New York. I I love, not love, because I actually, to be honest, you know how I said that it was the Jewish jokes? uh, This is the least fun time to make Jewish jokes? Yeah. It kind of feels like. I've been loving it. I'm well, worried. yes, because you're Jewish, so mm-hmm. I'm kind of screwed. Oh, but people have been hating it. I feel like an well, American that have. goes to Canada and realizes that all my native jokes are like... Sure. Like, it, it's like there, there's never been a less fun time to make Jewish jokes. That it, There's also... I honestly feel like a lot of my favorite things have been taken away from me <laughs> because also it's never been less fun to make fun of you for... Um, uh, losing me money yeah. because it's like it really has the vibe of when I'm like it used to be like a fun thing and now I'm like oh Danny you've made me lose all this money you're like come on man <laughs> <laughs> you've got like a come on man vibe about shit, it shit happens you're like really you know? dude like re- today really I, I'm like Kanye man I'm just taking <laughs> fucking financial just bullets one after another <laughs> like you said on that uh, what did he say on the I can't remember which interview he gave, but one of them. he said he's taking financial blow. He goes, "I'm just like I'm like a Martin Luther King, and the dogs are biting me." Right. I'm like Martin Luther King too. Right. You're Martin Luther King of losing money Martin and got leveraged crypto. Martin, <laughs> I didn't lose money leveraged crypto. You're it Martin. was in cash. You're, you're saying you're Martin Juther King. Martin right? Juther King. That's no, me. it's Martin Juther. Ding. Martin Juther. <laughs> ding. Ring. <laughs> yeah, because you have to join OnlyFans. No, all right. I thought that was a cash register. I was at first, but I wasn't able to make a good cash register to change noise, so I changed it. That's that sounds more like the OnlyFans one or yeah. the, the Chatterbait or whatever Chatterbait, it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, well, the funny part was obviously the funny part is that he's getting such like so, the, I don't know if I mean I, I'm not even going to give the benefit of the doubt. He's just getting like softball treatment. I was going to say maybe they just don't understand what happened. People are writing these articles, which Ooh, is also SBF, He's straight up just paid off all these media sources. It's okay, ridiculous. so yeah, that's I, I, it's probably nefarious. Fucking I'm not even pretending. <laughs> Shit, and the chick show the nerve of her to think to show her face in, in New city. York City of all in places. Your city. You know how many people have lost money in this city specifically? Most, most, most city that people have lost money in, probably. That like that was like one of those things where I go, like, man, if I saw her. What would you do? Probably fucking, I don't know, go get a can of red paint and dump it on her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I would do something fucking. What's her name? Rash. Let's Carolyn let's, Ellison. Let's do a Polish joke. He <laughs> doesn't say about that. <laughs> Carolyn Ellison. You're in my town, Carolyn. <laughs> no, I'd like push her on the train tracks. Would you actually? No, no, would no. you have to? Would you have to um, hold your rage back? To, would you? Would you like, give her a piece of your mind? Maybe. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'll be like you, fucking church bitch. Yeah, listen up here. You just so you know, you ruined my family. You ruined my life. Would you say some shit like that? Uh no. I mean, she didn't ruin anything, but she fucked over a no, lot. No, you'd be of- like, I just want you to see this. Look, no, you know, I'd be you like, show her your bank account balance, and you go, look at this. <laughs> no, look at no, this. No, no, the main thing is because of her viral clip or whatever. I'd be like, I walked up to her and go, hey, you didn't think stop losses were a good idea, <laughs> you stupid bitch? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that, that clip haunts you, eh? You probably have nightmares about the stop loss clip. <laughs> I don't. It's just funny. I don't know. <laughs> Well, they anyways. I mean, dude. All anytime anything bad happens to me for whatever reason, I'm able to think of it like it's happening to somebody. Bang, man! I just, this, I was like, oh, it's just like happening to somebody else, and then I just find it funny. I'm able to move, just compartmentalize it, and just move on. That's a psycho thing to do. I know. Well, I don't know what. It, uh, what's the alternative? Let it eat me up. 
where I'm like hunting Carolyn Ellison on the streets of no, New York City. That is probably like the start of like a disassociative ident- <laughs> uh, disorder where someone's like, you know what I mean? If you start doing that, it's like, you lost all that money. You go, I didn't lose all that money. Daniel, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Danny Daniel. lost all that money. That's how it starts. <laughs> Daniel Bullock. He lost all the money. <laughs> That's how it starts. Oh, Chuck lost all the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You start having two different personalities. I'm just at shows carrying this around. <laughs> You're like, you bombed on the stage. No, Polish Chuck. Polish Chuck. Polish hey. Chuck bomb. <laughs> Polish Chuck bombed. Yeah, that's exactly what you were saying. When trauma happens to you, so you I will say, you know what? It. You know what really stuck with me? That's helped me. <laughs> Even though it's like, uh, I don't know if you want to call it <laughs> cope or whatever or whatever. But when we had Shkreli on and Shkreli lost like, you know, $70 million that the government took from him. Mm-hmm. It's just like, you know, whatever. Like he was able, like, honestly, the fact <laughs> Finding that Sh- someone worse. Like the fact that Shkreli was like, yeah, I lost $70 million. And it's like, you know, I got my health and I'm not in jail. Well, you don't have your health, personally. I don't really have the health. Yeah, the blood pressure. I'm spiking after all of this shit. <laughs> Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah, I yeah. could have my health. I don't have, like, gout or anything. I can walk. I can, you know, I can still lift weights. You it's, have your fun guy shirt. I got my fun guy shirt. <laughs> Shout out Kawhi. I, you know. I People got- have been subscribing to the Patreon and we're almost at the Bugman vs. Bugman. <laughs> Yeah, you know. It went down again. We were pretty close, and then you always lose a little at the beginning of the month. I Yeah, I, lo- I lost a bunch after my stream last night. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they, I'll, I'll just say the title of the articles, I was looking at a bunch of them, and the funniest one, they go, Sam Bankman Fried is trying to find the guy who did this. <laughs> Shut Yo, up. I'm not kidding. Yo, do you not see this? No. Oh, my God. I guess I didn't send it to you because oh, I didn't know. I didn't think we were going to talk well, about this. He's fucking OJ now? He's just taking the OJ playbook? <laughs> you know, he hired Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyer. <laughs> Sam Bankman, Vice Magazine, Sam Bankman Freed is trying to find the guy who did this. Vice, you fucking pieces <laughs> of shit. Yo, he's straight up. It's OJ. He's like, I can't even go to the Bahamas anymore because I might run into the real <laughs> culprit. The guy who stole all that money. He did and say he goes. I think they're, what they're saying is he was like, you know, all this stuff was happening that he's removing himself from it. And he's like, all this stuff was happening and I don't know what it was. So I'm trying to actually get to the bottom of what happened and whose fault it was is kind of what oh, yeah, he said. Well, he's just like, I mean, I guess. Any person who's trying to <sighs> keep themselves out of jail for like 25 years, like what else are you going to say? I'm sure his lawyers are like, yo, stop saying anything. But for whatever reason, he's, you know. Some they, some people were saying he has some like long game of why he's saying all this stuff. Because if the bottom line is one of the reasons is a huge part in how much jail time you get is public perception, unfortunately, yeah. like the same yeah, as Scully yeah, yeah. or whatever. So if he, if he, if he muddies the waters where if people right now think like this is like people were calling him, uh, you know, this is the worst scandal since all that stuff. Like this is this is made off whatever. whatever right. Yeah. So people are saying all this stuff. And then if he if the public perception is it was like, oh, you know, bad management gone awry. Yeah, he goes like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not that smart. <laughs> if that's the perception, he'll probably get way less jail hey. time. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that he, you know, probably donated to that judge's fucking campaign sure. or something. Sure, so that's why people are saying that's why he's going so hard is just change the pro- public perception because if he can change the public perception, he's, he's good. Fucking change but his I was... perception by fucking <laughs> fist and that stupid bitch Carolyn Ellison too. I'm going to take a quick second here to tell you about a favorite company of ours that we think that you should use called Babbel. This holiday season, if you're looking for a unique gift that inspires curiosity, travel, and culture, give the gift of Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, and thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you'll finally be able to discover the wonder that comes with learning a new language. If you're traveling, Danny's a traveling man. I've been traveling, getting getting called for traveling. We're thinking about doing Ottawa, Quebec, maybe. And you want to brush up on that French, impress the ladies. A tabernacle. Yeah, you want them to know that you know the words. And this is the easiest way to do it. Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson. So you can start having real life conversations in the language in as little as three weeks, which is pretty crazy. Other language learning apps use AI for their lessons, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. You can choose from 14 languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German. And there's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. And it's also, like we said, a pretty solid gift. And one of the highest 
uh, discounts that anyone's ever got. Right now, you get 55% off the subscription when you go to babbel.com slash boyscast. That's babbel.com slash boyscast for 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. <laughs> okay, you know what? Danny's in such I, I put you in a bad mood. I have to put you in a good mood. <laughs> So I, I know it does. Not a bad mood. I know it does the trick. So I have, a, I have a new Instagram page. What was my old one that I like? Old head memes. Old head memes. Okay, so I have a better one. Yeah. Ask underscore a uh, underscore n word. Okay. With, uh, with an A, though. With an A, yeah. yeah just for people who want to follow. And it. this one is following in the footsteps. So there's a lot of these popping up, and it's still the same thing where it's got all the like laugh emojis and stuff like that. I'll tell you a couple of these bangers. Okay. I don't need to know. I don't know who, and the nose all, you know, the words are all spelled funny, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who need to hear this, but use deodorant. That's the whole name. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the whole one right there. Fat females not faithful either. They put to eat and cheat. <laughs> I know we get them in better mood. Yeah, there we go. Sex without condoms is magical. A baby appear, then the father disappear. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, ask a N-word top notch. Stuff. Better than old head memes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because old head memes, I think what they ran out. Yet yeah, old head memes is like they ran out of all their good jokes, I think. Like I think you start one of these pages with like ten bangers you've been saying to the family cookouts. Yeah. And then, you know, then once you get to like a hundred, you're sort of running out, right? Yeah. So, well, they started having to make them themselves maybe they found I, a lot we, of these. They we, we, we don't them. agree on this because i think, think the original them? old head memes started as found materials and then they ran out of okay stuff even find. if they find them they then like put them on their own like letterhead essentially yeah yeah, yeah. but they were uh but yeah it's but like then, a fat jew style right totally stop telling people you got my ex oh stop telling people you my ex i got that expunged off my record b so that's not a good I one. would love to sit in, especially old head memes, because I think it's a bunch of chicks who run that page. And uh, I know I can't tell because some of them are chicks, some of them are guys. I know, but if you look at who they follow, it's like they follow all these. Uh, th anyways, that's what I think. But okay. like to see their writing sessions, to sit down to write, <laughs> like like literally like at a coffee shop, just like all they all meet up once a month to just bang out old head memes. And it's just like a bunch of hipsters, chicks from Brooklyn, probably. <laughs> I don't. You think the I can see smell the authenticity. If I felt like this was a hipster, I think they're black. Brooklyn, I think this girl's 45. Oh, okay. I don't think this is, no, no, no. You're, that's crazy. Sis, you not a snack. If you have four kids and four baby daddies, you a Wendy's four by four. Four for four. What about all you can eat buffet? You're a Wendy's four for four. Four for four. Girls out here with no ass and a beer belly saying they're thick. Nah, girl, you my uncle. What? All right, I'll just tell you. <laughs> okay, two more. Oh, this one's not. There's some bad ones. Hate when bitches try to keep a bra on during sex. I already know yo titties long as hell. Let them bitches fly. <laughs> so th I think this might That's be just the, actually. Good. I think these are the newer ones where they're running out of their stuff. They need liquor stores on Uber Eats. Laffy face, laffy face, laffy face. <laughs> I think you can good Uber one. Eats liquor. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. I don't know what man needs to hear this, but stop cropping your wife out of pics. <laughs> so this is going to Danny's thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll do one more. Hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, animals escaping the zoo, ugly bitches acting cute. Who the fuck is playing Jumanji? <laughs> God damn, I Are love that shit. He's getting made with like chat GPT. God damn, Should I Should we love ask it. chat GPT to make some old head memes? Oh, they're, you're saying it's like AI? Yeah, the AI thing. That's very possible. <laughs> okay, so... Um, in terms of other scandals that have gotten uh, disappeared, I actually just thought this was a funny one because Tim Burton uh, has this new show that's The Addams Family, right? Yeah. And people on Twitter, uh, it was like kind of a whole hullabaloo. Quite the hullabaloo. It was a hullabaloo that basically they called him racist for casting the black actors as bullies. And it kind of caught up and everyone's been writing articles. It's like, that's like a total cannot win scenario. <laughs> that, that could nail on the head, Polish. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that no, when you got, got that one right. No, when you get one right, that's I feel like you. When you get one wrong, you blame uh, it on Polish <laughs> Chuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's you're saying like you didn't uh, tell me to put all my Did money. You just call me Juden. What's who's Juden? Me? I don't get that one. Oh, uh, it's the German word for Jew. <laughs> 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 that's what they call Jordan Peterson. Juden Peterstein. Oh man. <laughs> 
No, I'm saying that you're not. Daniel Polishak is the one who comes and does the podcast. Yeah. And we go on vacation together. Danny, uh, <laughs> like just Polish dash Chuck yeah, yeah. is the guy who gave me all the advice gotcha. on what. To, <laughs> gotcha. Uh, what, what was the what was the top baseball cards? Top baseball cards, right? Um, but the Tim Burton scandal. <laughs> it's not a scandal. scandal. It's, it's not, like no, this, no, it's not a scandal. The, also, but my point was like. The only reason I'm bringing this up is like, as the my point that I'm making is like, imagine trying to get like this kind of outrage to stick when sure. someone's out there yelling the end, like or saying that like Hitler's great. You of know course, what I mean? Of course. Like the news cycle is so dominated. Like writing this bullshit is like not a chance you'd ever get it to stick. And this is well, there I was mean, a time where you could get some you could get some traction on this kind of stuff. Of course, of course. And this is the classic thing too, where this is the two tweets. Uh, that are mad and you go well that's a story i know that is but it did turn into a thing yeah of course no, yeah, well yeah. that's what happens is you go you find two tweets you go technically this is journalism somebody is outraged and then you post it and then picked up and you go now it's a story so i agree and i'm uh, you know we're obviously part of that ecosystem of so like a little bit i will say that uh that the, the there, I've thought about this kind of a lot, what you're just saying. Yeah. You know, a lot of people make that point where they're like, was it an outrage or was one person outraged? But it's like, sure, but like, uh, if you said like, okay, for example, someone on Twitter goes, hey, liver king's on steroids, right? That's yeah. like, oh, a few people on Twitter. And then someone makes an article. And then someone makes another article. Then like a more mainstream news picks it up. And it's like, so it does start there. It does it's start just there. a matter of how high it gets. So you go, well... It, that is how the ecosystem works, though. Like every big scandal now, kind of did start like that. You know I, mean, I mean, I mean, all news starts on Twitter. Like news is becoming. I, I don't know how much time you. I've been spending like a majority of my time social media wise on Twitter, just because it's lit and uh, <laughs> it's super lit. But uh, I mean, that's where news starts. Like every yeah. news, like everything I read, feels like the, it. A, any big news story ever whenever sometimes i see TikToks. it it's like old yeah sometimes tiktok yeah so that's why it's like the point that everyone makes where they go it's a couple people it's like well i guess that it was but now it's real well now it's real of course yeah you know what i mean yeah once like a bunch of places are posting about it and it's like a news now it's in like publications well it's like no longer just a thing on twitter for sure like yeah you know what i mean yeah absolutely but uh i so i watched this and it was it was uh interesting because they did try to do like the complete uh, opposite of everything, it was a, it was it was almost like you watch the show. Yeah, I, I watched like two episodes. I can't watch anymore. Yeah, nothing good. I, well, I wasn't watching it for me. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the, uh, I watched a few episodes and I was like, finish this without me. I'm not interested. True. So the probably my biggest problem with the show. I actually, not enough black you know what? It's a show for like girls or whatever. Yeah, so I'm not going to give it like an adequate like why it's crappy or whatever. Tim Burton's pretty cool. All the stuff looks pretty cool. Like yeah, whatever, cool, right? Yeah. But the the thing that like kept annoying me from like a logical standpoint is that so they it's the Adams family. So they try to shoe in all the Adams family stuff, which is like a cartoon and a comedy. Yeah. But it makes no sense in like the real plot line of like a girl going to like X Men style like freak school or whatever, right? Okay. So it's like they, you know how like Wednesday Adams in the thing is very like no emotion, like she likes uh, uh -huh. she likes death and killing and all this stuff. But it's like then she's also like kind of a little mad that she's in a fight with her friend in the dorm and she's like oh. you know what I mean so it's kind of like or she, you know there's all these things yeah. where it's like it doesn't really make sense she's like she's like she, there's nothing she likes more than death she's like you know I'll, I'll bring it to my favorite occasion a funeral but then someone like gets uh, accused of killing someone and then she's like trying to stop it it was like well wouldn't that be like your favorite <laughs> yeah, thing yeah, 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 so right. it's like all of the when you're they make them so wacky because they have to shoot it's really like a, a, is this a kids X Men show? school drama. I don't know. I think it's like a medium. Yeah, okay. It's like a I it kinda of reminds me of like a X Men y thing. It's like uh, a bunch of kids that go to this like t high schoolers that go to this like freak school or whatever. Okay, gotcha. And they're all like you know, you know how these things are, the high school. Kind of like how twenty seven. Um, <laughs> yeah, like how they made the Archie, like the dark Archie. It's that. Like Riverdale. But Archie didn't have all these things like Oh, Archie grew up, growing up would like eat snakes whole and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So every once in a while they try to shoo in like actual Adams family's things and none of them really make sense because it's so the, the, the logical consistencies between the Adams family things and the show I'm actually watching were driving me nuts to mm. be like, well, why would, why is she trying to stop the murder if she just said she loves murder? <laughs> like it's her favorite thing <laughs> yeah, in the like, world. Let it happen. Yeah. And then they have all these things where it's like, for example, they're trying they're like the one guy is accused of committing a crime, right? So they're trying to stop the crime. 
crime. It's like, but then they go down to the lake and they go fishing where he throws a grenade in the the pond and kills all the fish. It was like, okay, well, that's also pretty big crime. So that's like a, <laughs> probably two years in jail if you just throw a grenade and kill all I the fish. I love Ryan's the like looking up the length of <laughs> the penalties for this stuff. Like his girlfriend's trying to just like enjoy a show. Ryan's like, um, excuse me, that's actually a felony, not a misdemeanor <laughs> once you use the grenade. <laughs> My point was how come he cares so much yeah. about one but not the other? Totally. So anyways, that, but they did also... And this is, I guess, the new version is they do uh, try to do like a swap on all of everything that you would think of as a stereotype. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So it's like the, yeah, the, the, so the guy who's the rich guy in the town that's like the rich billionaire dude that owns everything is like a black guy. Sure. And, and then his like, then they have the, the, yeah, they do have the black person that's like the bully because, but it's like, it's sort of. Well, is, because a year ago, the white guy only bullies was only like a strictly straight white guy role. Yeah, they do try to like flip. They're all trying the to flip things. it a little bit. Yeah. yeah, back. So I guess whatever that didn't like I didn't feel one way or the other out of it. But I guess it is like that's what you said. You can't win because you're like okay, well, like uh, we'll cast people in like what we think is stereotypes, like the you know the the shitty white dude that's like an incel bully kind of guy or yeah. whatever. And they're like, well, we'll make that guy black, and we like, we don't like that either, right? Yeah, I think they just want Wednesday to be black. I guess that would. I guess that's like the only. That well, she's only, Mexican though. I know, but she's not black. Yeah, but they're they're Mexican. Yeah, no, I know that. I don't think the people who are angry about this take that into account. Though. Yeah, I don't think anyone's. You're right. I don't think anyone's that crazy angry. But it, so my point was, uh, it was just kind of like funny that, that there's no way that scandal can <laughs> stick right now. Yeah. But uh, there was that, and then they do have some funny things. Like this is what all of those, I guess, supernatural shows do. But they essentially use all the language of like bigotry and all that sort of stuff. But it's bigotry against like the the the, the rejects or reject, whatever they yeah, call yeah, right. Like the, yeah, yeah. So they have like you know this thing, the school. They think it was on their land or whatever. That's our rightful land. That the 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 ghouls are <laughs> yeah, like yeah. they shouldn't be on our land. And Tell me they have it. a land acknowledgement. <laughs> well, no, they have the land still, but they're trying to kick them off. Oh, gotcha. So like the the normal like farmery type guys are trying to kick these, but the normal farmery guys aren't white. So it's like, but it's the same sort of thing. And there's one. There's a where this is probably the best one of the of the things that like they do. So they have the parent. That wants their daughter to be a werewolf or whatever, and she like maybe doesn't want to be a werewolf, and they kind of make it like the gay thing a little bit. Yeah. And then her parents are over the summer. Her parents are trying to send her to conversion therapy. To <laughs> she goes, they try to send her to conversion camp to convert. Her. And they just call it conversion camp. Like, convert her to be a werewolf. Yeah. I don't want to be a werewolf. Right. And yeah, yeah. She she wants to be a werewolf at her own pace, but the parents <laughs> are trying to. <laughs> Why is werewolf the the analogy for straight though? I feel like that would be more like no, everything's flipped. Everything's flipped. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like yeah. everything's flipped. It would be the opposite. <laughs> You're totally right. <laughs> and the but oh, no, this oh, show sounds like a piece of shit. It's okay. It's just for girls. But yeah, like girls. the uh, one good thing is Fred Armisen's Uncle Fester. Oh, that's solid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's pretty good in you it got too. Me back. Yeah, yeah. So Fred Armisen Uncle Fester is kind of cool. That's cool. And he's wacky and stuff like that. He oh, okay. All right. Um, Still not watching. Yeah, I was I was even thinking about like the the Canada like just like race in Canada like always we always kind of say it's like different than America in a lot of ways and I was I bet Canada is one place where like you have all these like flip flops and they kind of don't make sense in America sometimes but in Canada it's like I actually do know like growing up big crews that was like you know a couple like kind of hood dudes and then like one like kind of hockey dude like yeah. that is that is actually fairly no normal where you'd be like just two gangsters and a one y'all oh, dog we've it's known been here forever and the one guy's like yo you better not mess with our crew eh like it's and they're boys like yeah the mosaic versus the melting pot right that's so what's the difference remember that's what they always used to teach us in school in canada i don't remember say, any of this okay well they say canada's a mosaic in that they have all these different people but they're like they get to be themselves as part of like this giant thing where america's a melting pot but everyone's where you're all different. trying to be everybody's trying to fit in in america and be like this one kind of thing I guess, whereas th that's how Canada always used to bill itself in, oh, that in our kind of... in our government propaganda. Sure, was the like we're like to to you know. I would say themselves. maybe you could say the opposite, where it's like in New York, for example, like every there is lots of different people, but a lot of times it's like they still are more segregated by groups. Like people are in the, this area. This Everywhere one always. This I think one. it's more America, not si like city. They're trying to say like everybody's like an American, whereas everybody in Canada has dual loyalties. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, you'll have these like different crews and it'll be like, you know, two guys that are like boys. They just, oh yeah, I know I'm from time, dude. It's like, yeah, we've just been buddies, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. 
Like when I think of a lot of my uh, people I know, like even people I went to college with from other schools, they were like, their crew would be way more types of guys. Yeah. But um, mine was one kind. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Right. You didn't go to one, which is funny because Burlington had a lot of different types of people. No, not when I was. I mean, it's true. I'm thinking of Mississauga. Yeah, yeah, no. Mississauga, everyone's second generation. My high school was 1,600 people and there was. 1550 white that's white crazy people. and like two schools over it's like everyone's everything yeah yeah and uh well i was think you know so i've dated like uh men. M- mostly men yeah but uh it, it, like dated mostly not white chicks like majority yeah, yeah. of my people i've dated have been not white and i was thinking that the re i was it's funny saying the reason of that is i just have warrior mentality <laughs> <laughs> Why warriors? Well, warriors were probably the only people back in the day that would have sex with people outside of the race. Because back... <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was... Uh... <laughs> yes. I don't know if the people on the other end of that were super down, though. <laughs> you know, you know they, they, but even think about, like, New York. Like, I think it's, like, a pretty high percentage of people are in interracial relationships, right? Yeah. But back in the day, if you wanted to be in an interracial relationship like me mostly what you'd have to do was conquer another tribe and then kill their wife <laughs> sure. kill their husbands right yes and then and then give the wives an ultimatum very clear you go you can join the husbands right or you can be well maybe wife. some of them wanted it because they're like whoa look at this warrior yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you just murdered my husband and my kids <laughs> t- i like him well the other thing about that that was making me laugh was if you go the, i'll tell you why that extra sucked because if you were a guy that just got murdered like imagine you were you're say you're, you're you die right yeah and your chick's gonna like you know it's like six maybe a year later and she starts dating again you go who's the last person i'd want you to date and you'd be probably the guy that killed me yeah, <laughs> yeah ideally not the dude who murdered me savagely there's no there's no one that you'd rather your ex that you died with date than the guy that killed you you know what actually i saw because <laughs> i watch leafs games on uh like on you know like whatever with the streaming sites and stuff because they can't get them any other way here and so i get to see all these canadian commercials that i like normally <laughs> you love see. shit like that well there's no. nothing you love more than like rigging up some antenna where you get some weird feed no it's just like i mean anybody who watches you don't watch sports or whatever but anybody who watches sports you're like you just can't i can't get a leafs game and sure right here whatever but then i see the commercials and there was one commercial recently that was all the i can't don't remember what it was for all these different families and they're all like a black family an asian family uh like there was an indian family and then the white families mixed and they have a (laughs) base so it's like a white i think it was white guy sure but then like some sort of, I want to say. You're just saying the Canadian commercials are wild. It's so funny, and then but then they had a baby, and then they had to like match the baby with the two actors' mm-hmm. races. You're like, this is just insane. <laughs> like you, they have to, you have to hire like a scientist. Yeah, like casting in Canada, it's just like ridiculous. I think they should maybe just have to do it. You just hire an actual acting family. Yeah, it's like hey, you're auditioning as a family. Yeah, that which, seems which like the best way to, to do they, it. Yeah, they do that. Maybe I, I wonder if maybe that was the family. That was a maybe family. they do it like that. Like we're auditioning mixed race families. But it's so. just funny. They go. They couldn't give the whites a family. <laughs> <laughs> they just won't do it. Yo, no, it's such be, a lie. No, like, it'd be even it's better such a though. Weird line. Yo, I love the idea of they have like the Indian family and all the families are there. So it's like they're all real families except the white family showed up and they replaced the dad. <laughs> <laughs> they go. They like. There's like the white family, the Asian family, the Indian family, and the director's like, huh, you know what? We're just gonna make like, one change here. Like, she might just uh, go to the side a little yeah, bit, like a yeah. little further, yeah, a little like, further, a little further, a little further, and then like, then they just uh, another guy just walks yeah. in and puts his arm around his wife. <laughs> say, What's going on? Over he here? goes perfect, perfect. And he goes, he goes, love Am I it, I love it. You're beautiful. This is great work. You guys are killing it. Husband, nice stuff. Way to be a team player. <laughs> <laughs> the dad's just sitting there at crab service as well like and, he, and she's like you know and the families uh, you know we want the wife, wife to sit on the husband's lap just standard family <laughs> shit and the guy's there with chips in his hand being like i don't, I don't know all right now kiss <laughs> i don't want our family to be actors anymore <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take another quick second here to tell you about FitBod. 
fellas, you know you're out here trying to get in shape. Building a workout routine can take hours of research and keeping things challenging shouldn't mean buying even more gear. The FitBot app creates a workout routine that adapts as you improve and uses the equipment you already have so you can reach the next level without burning through all your free time or cash. You know, I'm a big fan of the fact that whatever gym you're in, you could just type that in and it'll tell you what uh, exercises to do. It also can give you exercise that you can do with just, you know, just your body. Yeah. And in a hotel, it, whatever. And it changes things up to keep it interesting. So you don't have to think about it and keep looking at different plans. It just does it automatically. They've sort of mainlined it. So I think that it's the best one. And getting started and sticking with a program are two of the biggest obstacles to exercising. You just add in your equipment, pick a fitness goal, and FitBod will create a routine for you. Whether you've been missing the gym or you're hitting a plateau, a fresh start's never been easier. The app switches up your exercises to avoid overtraining or burnout. And your program changes based on your personal progress or maximized results. So you don't have to just be guessing with all of these sort of things. A full year of FitBot is less than the cost of a single session of a personal trainer. Join FitBot today and build a routine that grows with you without slimming down your wallet. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app free at FitBot.me slash BoysCast. That's FitBot.me slash BoysCast. Another right. scandal that's sort of probably going under the under the thing, and you've been on Twitter, so I think you'll have you can tell me a little bit because I don't know if we've talked since this happened because um, I was out of town. But dude, the, so much has happened in the last week, I can't even believe it. Crazy, right? Like I was talking. So I'm talking about I'll just venture the Hunter Biden thing before we. Yeah, yeah but, I mean, just the amount of stuff that's happened in the last week, where it seems that it's not even possible that that much stuff has happened since the last episode. What a week! Like all the Kanye, Alex Jones, Gavin McInnes, this like. Liver King, everything. All of these are getting swept out. They're not. They're not. A, they're not the biggest scandals right now. That's for sure. Well, this one I know why. Okay, this so, one makes the most so sense out of anything. This is why I wanted to ask you your opinion on this because to me, and I maybe I'm wrong, but like when it came out. It was like, you know, they were just like, we're going to finally release the things, the Hunter Biden laptop information, all this stuff, right? Yeah. And then Matt Taibbi comes out and he was like, here's the tweets. And I read the whole thing. And a part of me was like, yeah, I mean, I feel like I know all this. Like, I don't yeah, know. It's what was you, there any, like, I didn't what feel you like it was thought. like, yeah, so I guess I didn't, like, I was, I, I wasn't. Uh, well, no, there's there's a bit more to it. The scandal. Yeah, actually, what did I miss that was like the big hot, t t uh, the big I'll, hot thing? This is, in my opinion, the biggest hot take from the whole thing which actually came out yesterday so they really on friday they released the twitter files right and and it was matt taibbi but so yesterday matt taibbi comes out and he goes so i the way that this happened is elon musk goes uh here's our chief of legal like our head general counsel at twitter his name's jim you'll talk to jim and jim will get you all the documents you need Right. Okay. So I think he, I saw a bit of this. So Jim is giving him all the documents, right? At Twitter. Jim, the ch head of legal, currently at Twitter, uh, not anymore. But okay, okay. So okay. Jim is giving him all this stuff, being like, "Here's all the documents." Giving he Elon Musk all this stuff. No, giving Matt Taibbi. Elon Musk. All he said. Elon was, Musk says, "Hey, Jim, give this." Here's stuff a to journalist, him. Matt Taibbi. Here's our head of legal. He goes, "You two talk. Give him anything he wants." Right. I gotcha. So Big for Matt Taibbi. What a huge Matt Taibbi got like, dude. I watched him. Matt Taibbi got like six hundred thousand Twitter followers in like a day or something. Wow. Whatever. But so, anyways, he goes, give him all the stuff, right? So then he's feeding him all the stuff, and there was like, uh, and even on Friday they go like, oh, we're we're slightly delayed. There's like a bit of an issue getting like, these things or whatever. So he starts releasing them. There was no the one thing that I will say that was uh, mistakenly sad is Elon Musk was like, this is like a First Amendment issue, right? Because he goes like, this is a First Amendment violation. But it's not because Biden wasn't in power. So he technically wasn't the government. But also it's like for people to say that it was because of that fact it's nothing is also <clears throat> super dishonest. Because you're like, imagine if the Biden administration, you work at Twitter, they go, hey, can you help us out with this? Knowing that they're probably going to win the election and become the government, you could tell them to go fuck themselves. And now the new government hates you and has it out for you. So you're like, they obviously had some leverage there. But anyway, so then over the weekend, Matt Taibbi's like talking with uh, Barry Weiss and talking about how, yeah, I'm getting all this information from this guy, Jim. And she goes, who's Jim? Uh, who's this guy? He goes, oh, Jim, his name's uh, Jim Baker. And she's like, what? And so Jim Baker was the general counsel of the FBI up until 2018. He was the guy who was all like the Russiagate, Steele dossier, all that stuff. 
So he's he got so Elon was, Musk is basically like giving them their like monkey boy to try to go help with it. Yeah, and he doesn't realize the dude's like and this the guy most like, compromised guy possible. <laughs> sure. He was the guy trying to take Yo, Trump down. Also, how much would have that guy of having to hate get that gig? He like, loved it. What do you mean? He he went from one position uh, of power to another no, but position. I was thinking if he, you're right, because he's just like I won't. He's like loved it because I'm in charge of it. But if he did have to be like, hey, you have to go put all this stuff, at, give him all the stuff that screws over Biden. He wouldn't want to do that. But he was like, well, that's yeah, why I just won't. Yeah. Well, that's why they're saying they go. So what was he scrubbing from? Like you know, he was the one who had access to all the stuff. Okay, and that's he the was scandal. feeding it to Matt. But the actual thing wasn't that crazy. But then we don't know what wasn't in. Well, it. now you don't know what Jim Baker <laughs> like decided to you know. <laughs> you just walking to his office he's eating papers <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh oh hi like, oh. but you don't know what he was like keeping back or what but i mean the dude is incredibly compromised okay like he literally resigned the most compromised he resigned guy. from the fbi was like an orange man bad professionally in the government <laughs> sure. and then moved from the public to the private sector doing the exact same thing okay in charge of twitter so he was the guy during the hunter biden laptop being like maybe we should be cautious and like not release this and you're like yeah because you don't want your guy to lose and this is the guy in charge of the whole thing now. this is the guy in charge of like so anyways elon musk yesterday found out and fired him immediately wow he said he exited him <laughs> he's been exited but that was like i agree i read the twitter thing and i go like yeah there's some stuff here like i think what we thought for the most part. I guess it's only a bombshell if you like... That's the bombshell. If you didn't think any of it, but like who... I feel like everyone thought, thinks that... And the thing is, it's like... Crazy. like it, I don't... Like who doesn't think that there was like crazy stuff on that laptop of him, uh, you know, the piece? And then who doesn't think that like the government worked with Twitter to, you know, But I mean like it? the Trump administration also had a contact at Twitter. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's everyone, not like... It was, everyone important probably as a contact at places exactly, like this. Exactly, exactly. Sure General Motors has a contact at Twitter. But like, all the people on the left are being super dishonest by being like, oh, there's no, uh, you know, there's no First Amendment thing. They're just like a, a company that was just being cautious. And you're like, well, not really. That That's kind of dishonest to think that that's all that was happening is they were just trying to be like cautious. Yeah. And you're like, no, it's not No, it's not what I And then yeah. once the Jim Baker thing, you're like, that's the biggest... Huge scandal. No, there was the team. Uh, there was the funny parts of it where they're like, you know, Biden's like, we need you to take this down, and it was like handled. Like that, yeah, there was course. a couple funny things, I guess. Uh, like where you know, like mafia style, where it's like we're gonna need some things to disappear. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> totally. But apparently, and those then, were all just pictures of Hunter Biden's dick. <laughs> well, that's what. So this is the best story. Uh, this guy wrote this big story, and that's why <laughs> I wanted to write it. He goes, "No, you do not have a constitutional right to post Hunter Biden's dick pic to Twitter." <laughs> This guy's fired up, right? Fired. <laughs> so I want to say that yes, we do. Yes, we do. It's uh, what is it? What, what amendment is that? That was in the that do was the amend, original the fa founding fathers founding when they were giving the speeches. They even said that. <laughs> yeah. We offer you life, liberty, dick pics of and the right to the just right dick pics for all. The right to get a hog on the web. We don't know what the web is yet, but once that comes out, you're gonna get the pics. We don't even know what there. pictures are. Yeah, well, this is, I guess, yeah, you're, what you're kind of saying, the funny part is the, like, the hypocrisy or whatever to some degree, but, like, also funny was this guy would be like, I'm sure that there's a million people, like, that are like, yeah, they, there's not, con that we're all, like, fighting tooth and nail to get the videos of, like, Trump getting pissed on. Of course. <laughs> I mean, again, that's the thing. This guy, Jim Baker, was a like, I, I steel I, dossier guy. I think 100% you have a constitutional right. To get, if you put in your laptop uh, and you leave it at a place and they get the dick pic, I mean, the bottom line is, I guess it's sort of like a revenge porn almost, but like, well, yeah, I, I will say there, there you is, can't you know, stop it. there is a legal element of, I guess you can't do that. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know I, what the I, actual I, law says. About but six years ago, I uh, probably like when dick pics were hot. I said I would never send anything like that. Yeah. And I was like, I have too many tattoos. And I was like yeah, in entertainment or whatever. Smart. And I was just like, there's no, like, I just feel like this has only, you can have bad consequences. Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, I was, and I'm not a cautious person, but that was one thing I was cautious about. I wouldn't send that kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, although I did have videos of smashing on my phone 
that would be on the cloud. So I guess I'm, I don't know if that's better. Or All right. Well, if you guess Ryan's password, you get access to them. Guess Ryan's password and email. No, you can't because oh. it's, it goes to my, I have two, two factor security on everything. Oh, all right. Well then. Two factor security really does change the game because no one can really hack That's, it. Well, you, you, there is one way around it. You still, uh, you have to si spoof your SIM, which does happen. Oh. Yeah. There's, but you need someone working at a phone company. Oh. Like if someone basically could find out what provider you're with and they had someone working there and they could spoof your SIM and then now they can do your two-factor authentication. But they well, also I don't have, have to, them on my phone now. Your e but they have to know your email, your password, your phone number, and have a contact. I don't have them on my phone now. Yeah, yeah. So that's over, but I always felt like that was just all lead to bad news. Yeah, the two-factor authentication is a game changer. It changed the game because someone needs to straight up have your phone. Yeah. Oh, it's like probably, I bet you hacking is down like so much. Dude, you used to be able to hack someone so, back in the day, if you wanted to get into someone's email, you'd literally go, forgot my password. It goes, what city do you live in? And you go, Toronto. I know, I know. And then you're in. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, Yo, what's... back in the day, hacking people's things was so fucking yeah, You had easy. to know like one thing about them. You didn't know who we I was like, what's your dad's name? And you go, I know him, so it's <laughs> Bill. And then you go, you're in. Yeah, you're in. Because most of the passwords weren't that crazy. No. Or one of the password questions. Right, right, yeah, What yeah. city do you live in? It's like you literally didn't know the city that. the guy lives in and you could hack into the guy's email. Yeah, yeah. I totally forgot that you could do that. <laughs> Hacking into people's hotmails was like so a cinch. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. I was never a big email hacker. So this guy definitely thinks that you can't see the dick pic, but... I mean, there might be a law around that, but again, you know... Like Twitter, I don't know. Twitter has their their own policies, but I guess the law supersedes any policies. But their hacked materials thing, not to mention, I guess they changed it with the Canadian truckers because the, the Twitter had no issue when that fucking gives and go. All thing. of the laws are fucking wishy washy. We'll change them how we. Feel I mean, remember like the it. gives and go thing with the Canadian truckers? They go, hey, we're going to release every person who donated to the Canadian truckers. Yeah, hacked, and Twitter was like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, Trudeau wouldn't like it if China did that. No. You know what kind of this is with like laws and everything? It's all really whoever has the power can just do whatever they want. You know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of one thing that was, well, tell me your opinion on this, but like I've had this conversation with a few people and we have a lot of friends that probably are like really against like Elon Musk doing all the like AI Neuralink and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Because it feels like whatever, an invasion and it's like the, you know, the start of the dystopian future and a million things, right? But I... I've, I've had like lots of people that they go, yeah, I'll never do that. And, and in my mind, like I kind of get what they're all saying, but I'm also like, you will though. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Once I like, it's, yeah. Once it's mainstream, you'll, well, I won't be an early adopter, but the early adopters are all going to be for the neural link stuff. Like they're all going to be quadriplegics. And stuff right. who are like getting their, you know, ability to walk back and they have nothing to lose. How big of a list of stuff could you make where your friend said, I'll never be on TikTok. I'll never do this. Of course. I'll never do that. Oh, no way. I'll ever do that. It's like I get, the amount of things that it's almost like the amount of people I know that there are, there's like 12 things they go. I would never do that. Yeah. And you go now you do all of it. Yeah, You just don't want to be an early adopter of it. Right. Which, again, I don't want to abuse. I know. don't necessarily like it, but the truth is when you go and you go, oh, everyone has a Neuralink and the only way to, you know, pay for anything is with that. Or it's like, if you want to go to your work meeting, you have to have that. It's like, it's like the, everything just moves so f It's like the people that said, oh, I don't really want to have a cell phone. It's like every single one Dude, of those I, people has a cell phone. One of my buddies, I'll never forget this, but his mom for a long time when he was a kid would not let him get internet because she thought it was a fad. <laughs> She goes, nice. she's like, it'll come and go. She's like, we're not getting this. <laughs> nice. It's stupid. Right, right, and right. And then like a few years later, she's like, okay, I guess we're getting Well, that. that's everyone, yeah. yeah. So I feel like uh, maybe i she thought the internet as a whole was a fad. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I think that was a joke on like, the, like a Simpsons No, but that was like, or, or maybe, yeah, but like yeah. she for legit thought that it was a fad. So funny. But <laughs> I would say that this is how probably, the oh, it's almost like the world right now. It's like either- you have to do all the shit, whether you like it or not, or you're off the grid. The mm -hmm. in between is impossible. Yeah, you yeah, know what you I mean. You have to be super online or super kind of you're, offline. Well, just even paying for things. Like how many places don't have don't take cash? Like yeah. you know what I mean. I, I actually wonder the 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 in between is like 
getting increasingly hard. But if you're like a guy that's like, yeah, I'm going to live at the cottage. I don't have a thing. I've one landline. If you want to talk to me, and it's like, that's it. Like basically my house is like in a small place. I go to get my stuff here and it's like, that's it. People come. That is possible. Yeah. But anyone that's like tapped in, you, it's very hard to be like, oh, I'm like an online guy. I have a normal job. I do all this stuff, but like, I won't do this, this, and this. Sure. But like, I always wonder luck. with us, cause you know, we're, we're kind of on the, I would say, you know, cutting not cutting edge but like we're on the fucking cutting but edge we're, we dude. are in terms of like all this stuff because i i have a lot no, of you're friends on the forefront of everything for, you know because yeah. of like a culturally stuff because i i mean i've said this, but like you know i have a friends who don't care about any of this stuff and then i went golfing with them last year and they're like you heard about this pronouns business this <laughs> that kind of stuff you know and you go you can you can be willfully they might be lying to you too. no no no, they're not i right. guarantee you they're, they're not they're trying to play like a cool guy that's like they're i don't not. Never even they're, I'm like when girls will be like or someone will be like i don't even know who just it's like not that i don't like justin bieber i don't know who he i'm telling is. you and you go yeah you do i'm telling you they're not they're they're just like you work right. at a bank and they're like hey people have started putting pronouns like i had to put my pronouns on my email signature. all right well i don't know any of these people but anyways I, but i'm saying like they can say like oh i'm not participating in this but all you're saying is you're not participating in this now that's correct right like you could say oh I, that's I, your point with the pronouns yeah you yeah. go i'm not participating in this. yeah it's just for now and then you know it's gonna it's coming It'll be impossible. And then you will, but then if, if you're, as you get older, if anyone who has kids, like your kids are going to do all this stuff and then your kids are going to be like, hey, like you need to do this for my school or like you need to transfer me, like whatever. It's like there's just always something. Like your bank will just be like, yeah, this is how our bank runs now. Like, Dude, have you seen the stuff in China? And I, I don't know if this, this is real, but you know they have their COVID pass. Oh, how about like on the airports? It'll be a point where it's like, yeah, if you want to go on an airport, they're like, we don't have... Uh, paper tickets anymore we I just mean, do it like sports this. has no paper tickets there anymore. you go so the guy that's like oh i don't have a phone it's like you can't go to a sports game anymore legitimately but that's yeah. what i mean it's like all yeah. it all maybe there's maybe maybe some of these there is some hack for around it but it's like they just get more and more and more where you're just like yeah you can be the guy that doesn't do all this stuff but like you better be off the grid it's like you can't sort of do it you, like you can't go to like uh anywhere like an nhl game right now they don't like at least two years ago three years ago you could say like well I, i'll print off my ticket that's, that's like done. that's not even an option anymore because there are these live barcodes or whatever. So it's like yeah. you need a you can't even have a flip phone. You can't be a flip phone guy. That's, that's what like it they, is to just participate in all these aspects of society. But in China, I don't know if you saw this. They have their COVID pass, right? You know, it's like red and yellow. And there was a video of these people where they were like, because they're in their building and they're not allowed to leave their building because of like their COVID policy. And then they like stick their hand out the window and it goes red. Like literally they go like they're in their building and it's yellow, which is, which is, I guess like a safe thing where you're allowed to like buy things. Like you're allowed to spend your money if it's yellow and then they just stick, they're not allowed to be outside. That's and they just go like this and it goes red and they go like this and goes yellow. And like, I'm, I don't know if it's real, but I know that there's been like so no the shortage. idea is the minute you step past this line, like we cut off your funds. And well, there's day. all these people in China who they were showing like people lining up to get COVID tests because they were outside and then their things, they're. Passes, because you passed red someone, you passed a red because you were exposed so then their thing flips red instantly and you I now don't have that. to like buy anything you can't go home you can't use public transportation that's gonna be like a std thing probably soon too all that stuff <laughs> i mean again it's you know we we laugh about it here but you're like is that impossible that that that's no i'm in my I mean, point the, is i don't think it's like necessarily good like i think i get every bad. i think i get everyone's points but it's like futile efforts like sure. you slow it at the very least like it slows down from everyone complaining about it and all these people and stuff like that yeah i mean america I, i'd have to say would be the last but i can see that happening in, like canada i can see that happening in canada tomorrow so, yeah if it, if it if it already kind of did with covid things or whatever for sure you know i could see that happening there it would never happen here that'd be great months. though if you got a fake one though like and you were there is things where if you could hack it you're like you're out of expensive dinner with a chick or whatever and then you're just like oh can't spend my money <laughs> <laughs> you have like a hacked yeah, yeah, yeah. thing where they go <laughs> also can't go to my house so <laughs> but the thing is you couldn't even go back to her house well you can't like, she has to pay for it well no because you can't get into the complex like they digitally just like deperson you i hate this it's so crazy <laughs> it sucks. but it is like the dystopia Shit of, you see in movies it's a like te it's a thing you saw in movies 10 years ago about the world in a hundred years <laughs> yeah <laughs> but now we're like there in some parts yeah it's crappy <laughs> stinks okay we're gonna do one uh article here about that's probably uh, my favorite this week was 
This girl goes, help. I'm attracted to my teenage son's teammates. And this was at Slate.com, but... Have you ever had that, Danny? Or talked to somebody? Smash your fucking teammates, mom. <laughs> no. But Mrs. Wilson, what are we doing? What are we fucking doing? What are we doing? I'm a wife and a mother with a small at-home business and a fairly normal life. You know, she writes it a little bit, like you know the, the, the old South Park Rob Schneider things, like <laughs> South Park Rob Schneider. Uh, when Rob, tell he Rob Schneider became a character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah like the, yeah, yeah. the movie trailers. Yeah. She goes, I'm a, I was a wife and a mother in a small town home business with a fairly normal life until I became gang banged by my son's teammates. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Until I became attracted to my son's <laughs> friends. Gong 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 gong. One of my tasks is sharing carpool duties for my teenage son and his sports team buddies to and from practice. As it happens, my husband and I haven't had sex for two years due to various medical and psychological issues. Psychological issues is a funny one where you're just like, babe, my psychological issues. You're like, babe, I just find you gross. It's I'm all psychology. Me- <laughs> I'm all messed up in the head, baby. This is also funnier written from like a, because uh, uh, we don't know what this woman looks like. But it is like, it's funny, like the whole thing is like, what do I do? But if you were like a guy and it was like, uh, if it was like some guy, but let's say make it college to make it less creepy, but it's like, you know, I'm driving my daughter and all her college friends and I'm attracted to them. It's like, what should you, it's like, well, I mean, you probably can't bang him. So I mean, probably nothing. <laughs> like the answer is like, I mean, if I mean? a guy called in being like, Hey, um, I've been driving around my teenage daughters who are not old enough to drive and her no, friends that's and i want they're not old I, enough to drive and that's i want a good point and i want to bang my they would be like the whoever was on the receiving end would probably send the fbi, yeah, this send guy's the IP FBI to your house the, his ip address yeah totally like <laughs> you're right that's the, another good an point. investigation into this dude <laughs> yeah 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 she's yeah. just like yeah i want to fuck my friends 14 my, my year old friends. friends yeah 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 they're men now dude if you were at my school and that ever like came out through somehow that like your buddy's mom was the one that like wrote this thing saying she wanted to bang you over. <laughs> Yo, over they would be killed over that'd be game over but also the psychological issues do you think it's her psychological issues it's got to be the guys because she's still revving to go it's the guys for sure so the guy's psychological oh, she's issues. ready to go she's yeah she's like you know menopause she come, is knocking on her door and she's trying to get some in before it happens she's trying to get some in and he's like baby baby you know i'm all just messed up in the head right now you know i got you know my head ain't right baby we haven't had sex in two years you know my head ain't right it's tough it's a tough one I got, I got the, I got the brain, I got the brain <laughs> fog, baby girl. Long COVID. I got, I got that long COVID, baby. You know I can't. You know I could if I would. I wanted to, but also you're not that hot anymore. I would if I could, baby. I would love to. There's nothing I'd love more than to make. He's probably got this accent, <laughs> baby. You know, there's nothing I would love more than to make sweet, sweet love to you and pleasure that vagina of yours. But you know, I'm not right very, in the head right now. Very thin Fu Manchu, <laughs> like the thinnest Fu Manchu possible. I imagine on this guy. <laughs> That was, if I if I made a list of things that I would like to do, but I cannot do. I cannot. If I could, I would. It is every morning I wake up and I say, I would love to pleasure that woman and give her the love making that she needs, <laughs> but I at last I cannot. It's <laughs> uh, tough for her. I'm all messed up in the head. Baby, you know my head ain't right. What happened? I'm groggy, baby. I can't even believe that she I'm a groggy needs, man. That she needs to write in. To figure this out that's like how <laughs> demented this is too you go like i wonder what like what do, what do you think what do you think they're gonna say what do you think they're gonna say to give them for a spin yeah <laughs> like what do you think just forget you ever had this thought and just move on with your life yeah just like or at the very least it's like don't act on it yeah i mean how many d- dudes walk around all the time and they're like i'd like to bang that girl all right anyways yeah like, exactly you know, okay how about you know what it is which obviously worse because she's talking about uh fucking dudes that aren't that young but it's like you go her question is like the question for every guy in any workplace yes you know yeah, yeah i'd like to bang all those girls but it's gonna wreck my life you go yeah yeah don't yeah don't and just <laughs> Should I <laughs> stick with your wife? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, hey, my, I'm really attracted to my boss's wife. It's like, yeah, well, <laughs> that's probably where that ends. Like, yeah, I'll take that to the grave with you because yeah. your current wife would not be super pumped about hearing this either. Or your boss. Or like, your boss. Yeah, You're going to essentially act on that and wind up with no job, no wife. 
What are you even going to act on? You're in the car. So the only time you see them is driving them. It's like, what does she think is the alternative? It's like, add your son's friend on fa- on Instagram. Like, what do you? what is even the alternative? She, she's probably like, <laughs> she doesn't act on it. And then she's driving. She's like, I just hop on the road, turn the radio on. It's like, do, 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 is that Mr. Robinson? Yeah. What's Mr. Robinson? Mr. Robinson is like the banging a. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know that song. Who's about? Paul Simon. Uh, I've Simon had that. Gar- so Simon Garfunkel. That's more up your cuts than my cuts. I think I'm right on that. I'm, I feel like I might be down. I don't myself, know the but. Paul Simon catalog, nor do I even more so know what the, the songs graduate are about. When he bangs the chick. I know. Uh, the, don't Dustin graduate. Hoffman. Do, 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 by Third Eyes Blind. I, I feel like I might be mistaking that, but I don't know. When I graduate. So I know that graduate. Is that also about the same thing? I don't think so. But the graduate's about a, a guy fucking an older lady. He's like, yeah, I, I'm driving my kids to soccer practice and I want, I'm attracted to their friends. What should I do? And you go, what, what are you thinking of doing? What are the options you're working pol- polishing through in your mind right now? Mm. You walk, what, what, what do you think is going to happen? Like uh, the kid, your, your son's going to get out and the last one's going to wait and be like, oh, wait, I need to talk to him. And you'd be like, why, mom? Why would you need to talk to my friend? And be yeah, like, Ms. Robinson it. tried it. I didn't say it wasn't true. I just no, said no, I don't no, know no, that. No, I was doubting myself. You maybe I, I started doubting myself, but it is. Um, yeah, I don't. Just do nothing. Just literally, you could have a thought and not have to fucking that, ride into a column. This is what I'm saying. You're allowed to have a thought. Yes. Yeah. Jesus, just have the thought and let it. You know, it's like it's almost the meditation thing. You know, it's just like watch and it I'm pass saying, by. My guess is that they, the wood they, My guess is these aren't like kids, though. My guess is like. You know, there's one kid in the class that grew a beard and kind of looks like a man and is of doing course. it for her. There's always. I mean, every, don't you remember? Every you, Indian dude. <laughs> don't you remember when you're like in grade nine or ninth grade or whatever? Yeah. Like, there was just like that one kid who looked like he was 40. Yeah, I kind of grew <laughs> late. I was I was like pretty big and then I sort of like uh, was a little smaller for a couple of years. Then I caught up again. But I mean, there's always. Which I kid. think of my theory is that's why I think I'm going to live longer. Mm. But there's always the kid which is the beard. Remember, like, there was just like that one kid who had a full beard. Dude, in grade, in grade seven, could? like every Indian kid had a mustache. <laughs> Yeah, but they also had it in grade four. But they also go bald quicker. Like it's all related, you know. Interesting. Do you? Th- well, I, this is my theory. Do you think there's? there's I grew a little late, but I, I don't know. People th- say that I look like somewhat young for my age. Like, yeah. I think a big part of that is that like your lifespan is just happening quicker. I don't know. Isn't that? Doesn't uh, that like hold up? I think no. I think I bet you if you looked you at have, pe- you're, a, you're a young man. But like, I, I think you're just your essence is of a young man. Okay, so you think that's because I, I have friends who. But I did, but I did like grow late a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also have friends who have a, like who have kids who are my age who have literally adopted being old. No, but my brothers they, all have this too. They were all kind of the same. Like, oh, okay. I just think that. Okay, but here's the perfect one. Like you know this, the guy that looked like he was, uh, you know. 20 when he was 15 like George Costanza always says he looked he looked like he was fucking 20 when he was like 12 or whatever you know yeah. what I mean that guy at 40 looks 55 that, so generally well I feel like so Wilfred I know a guy I know a few guys like that like they looked like men when they were you know way younger than us and now those guys look, look super old well now they look you know 60 when they're 35 right yeah, yeah. yeah I don't and know and then when they're 80 they'll be dead that's my See, theory. Yeah, I don't know if that. I don't know if you like Wilford Brimley. That was like the classic one. They they say that he. Uh, I, I can't remember who they compare I bet you him to. Money on but this. in one movie, he's like forty five. But he looked from forty five to seventy five looked identical. He did not change. So he just okay, he just he hit just that hit, so stayed fast in the pocket. But then he's like, you know, when he was forty five, he goes, I guess I'll just wear him, hike up my pants. <laughs> like you do all the stuff around <laughs> a to really stuff. make yourself look older. Okay, maybe there is no. Uh, my my favorite. That's another thing about the Wednesday Adams show is like, there's always like some people that look like high school kids, and then there's a few people that look, you know. 27 none nearly as bad as the guy that was in 90210 that's always the thing yeah, luke perry luke perry was legitimately 40 yeah he was 40 probably by the end of the season he was playing a high school kid and w- apparently one of the reasons they do that which actually makes sense is because they always have like kissing scenes and all that sort of stuff and it's way inappropriate to like have 14 year olds do that yeah but you can if you have 25 year olds play, like if you have 25 year olds playing 14 year olds you could essentially do a sex scene and it's like for sure fine. Yeah, yeah i think that's a i big mean they part used to do like i think in the 80s and stuff they were straight up having 14 year olds making out and then I think, really like i think the what was it Bl- blue lagoon does Whoever seem like so, it does seem like there's like an ethical issue with under 18 yeah essentially but that's a recent thing yeah but it is crazy though if, if you think about it you're like an actor and you're like hey we're gonna make like 
you two like make out and film it and stuff. It's like a bunch of adults. Watching yeah, a bunch of like old like men, generally out. like a gr- old men. Like that is crazy, right? So yeah. I think that the first like non pervert was like, hey, they don't have to be. They could just be <laughs> pretending to be fourteen. And then all these guys are like, shut up. <laughs> All the, yeah, all the Hollywood burps were like, shut up. We, you think we don't know that? <laughs> you think we don't? We know that. that. Yeah, we know that. They don't know that. Because they're, they're probably even super pervy because, you know, it's like when you're young, then you need like, they always hire twins because you can't work that much. So oh, like, oh there you go. It's like, we got two sets of twins. Yeah, shut just up. like pervs, like classic. Just crazy <laughs> hair parts. The other day, I picked up my son's teammates, and I felt a surge of sexual attraction. <laughs> What's a, sur- a surge? <laughs> What's your mom doing right now? <laughs> Hi, Tommy. Hi. I was horrified. I would rather cut off my limbs than harm a minor, or cheat on my husband, for that matter. She couldn't control herself when she was in the car, though. She was really having a break, <laughs> stopping and starting very quickly. <laughs> and you know they can't drive stick as is, right? Yeah. Oh, so if she's on the stick. <laughs> I wanted to quit the carpool. <laughs> because the feelings made me feel ashamed and uncomfortable but then i'd have to come up with an explanation that would enable my son to be in the carpool that it, 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 so this is where the person that gave her advice i thought was bad advice <laughs> did you yeah i mean well yeah she said because like, they were like quit the carpool immediately but it was like that is crazy because you have to be like I'm not doing carpool anymore. And the parents and your husband's like, why not? You're I gotta free that time. And you go, I'm tired, okay? I got a good reason, though. You'd be like, look, I've started watching Andrew Tate videos. Uh-huh. And I don't think women should be allowed to drive. <laughs> That's the best one I've heard. <laughs> well, this one's like, you know, you ha- one, you should definitely quit the carpool. And she goes, you have to be, don't feel like you can't possibly tell anyone, not even a therapist. Don't keep this to yourself. It's like, I would say you the opposite. You can't even tell a therapist? Well, maybe tell a therapist, but I wouldn't tell anyone else that you're no, attracted I would not tell- to your son's no. kids. No, definitely not. You have to keep driving the ki- and don't think that you have to keep driving the kids to practice and relying solely on your own willpower and self-loathing to get through the next couple of years. It's like, that's crazy. I mean, do what dudes do and wait till they're 18, <laughs> man. Yo, but seriously, this lady's like, I have to, the advice is like, there's no way that you'll be able to fucking, you don't trust your willpower when you're, that <laughs> once a week when you drive, you pick up your son in the minivan. With a bunch of other Gets kids. in the back and like, don't rely on your willpower. To do what? Like, yeah. what do you think you're going to do? Yeah, like, I don't understand. Don't what, rely on your willpower. Like, all you have to really do is just, if you're so weak and so concerned, be like, just don't get one-on-one. Yeah, legitimately. it's like you and five guys. What, like, what do you think is the option? You're just gonna be like, stop the car, and you can't help yourself, so you just like start ripping off this kid's. Well, like, what are you even talking about? I don't know. This person's a goddamn. Degenerate. But that's the answer that the person gave her. She was like, "Yeah, you should. You need to remove yourself from that scenario. Quit carpool." And she was like, "You know, maybe you're." She goes, she, "Her answer should be like, yeah, yeah, just don't bang him. It'll be fine." Yeah, it'll be but fine. she's like, "Just tell the other parents effective immediately. You're no longer available to drive the kids to practice, even when it's inconvenient. The absolute worst thing that can happen in this scenario is a couple of student athletes miss a few practice, and so our kids are missing soccer practice because she can't stop trying. To I have, bang I have friend. actually a better." a better solution I thought this. this advice was crazy besides the Andrew Tate thing is this is what you do okay so right before you gotta go pick the kids up for practice you go find a full length mirror in private mm-hmm. and practice your speech of introducing yourself to the new neighbors and saying that you're on the sex offender register oh I'm listening go hi my name is so and so Prudence uh, just so you know I just moved into the the neighborhood I'm legally obliged to let you know that Great I'm a sex idea. offender See how that because I could you. not bang my son's friend. See how that feels. See on how you. that feels, and then right, just do that like three times, and then go pick him up, and then see if you can make it through a drive without, like, I guess pulling the clo- the car over. I would to- love to know how long this drive is too. Like, it's like four four minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. So her question is crazy. The advice is crazier. Yeah. The advice like, well, because what, the, she didn't even give him an excuse. Like you're thinking of excuse like satirically, the Andrew Tate ones, but you go legitimately, imagine you have a wife where it's like her job is to pick the kids up and that's one of the things she does. You do some other thing. And then she comes, she goes, I can't drive the kids to soccer practice anymore. And you go, why? You go, 
I just can't. I just can't. And you're like, you get a DUI or something you don't want to tell me about? You're That's like, no. honestly maybe the only real you thing. Get is a like, DUI. Go get a DUI. Yeah. <laughs> Go, go to a go find check. Go check. Yeah, you go on those like Twitter, find the checkpoints, and then, and then get just fucking go, like, trashed and, and go through one. one. Be like in the checkpoint, being like glugging, like what's up, officers? Yeah, party tonight. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, shotgun a beer at the DUI checkpoint. <laughs> oh, what? Something wrong with this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I sorry. I thought this was America, right? So legitimately, that is kind of the I guess the only thing that you could do. Or, but like, if you and tell the other parents, I can't drive your kids. Like, are you busy? You go, no, no, I'm not. So no. I thought that was the worst advice That's of all time. That's terrible advice. And then one more thing, I'm gonna show you. I actually put it on my computer too. I was prepared this week. Okay. So there was a. It's kind of like a pretty aggressive thing, but I just wanted to show you this. But so there's missing women. Jasmine Pace found dead and her boyfriend was charged with murder, right? Okay. And there's this guy, uh, Jason Chen, who was basically catfishing girls and uh, like, you know, murdering them or whatever, right? Okay. So the story is like kind of not funny at all. It's like terrible. But the guy that he used his identity, so it's this Asian guy and he used this other Asian guy's identity to pick up these girls yeah. and then everyone found that guy on the internet and we're like, this is the guy because all the internet sleuths, sure. like, this is what they do. They like find, they, internet sleuths, like 90% of what they do is like run with bad information and try to ruin people's lives. Yep. You know what I mean? So basically, these guys found this guy on the internet and then the guy posted a video being like, hey, just so you know, it's I'm not them. But the, it was like, I literally burst out laughing because the way the guy does his video, it's such a somber topic. It's like, you know, this guy used his identity and murdered someone. Yeah. And he does this video very like, yo, y'all, just like, he's like a fuck Was he boy. doing like that TikTok where he's like, this one? Or he's like, <laughs> I'm not the murderer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here is, I'm not the murderer. <laughs> yeah. You're the one with the hands up and the, hitting the fist together. Here's the reason why I didn't murder this chick. <laughs> Here's me eating food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just play a bit of it, but like he, the way that he made his video to say he's not the murderer is like killing me. So basically everybody been hitting me up saying somebody using my photos and I would like to address that. Um good major fuck boy. Oh, he's trying to look cute. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's trying to look cute. The first photo she just showed. That's what I'm saying. Like, so he has his hood on, and he's going like, "Yo, um, it's like BTS." Like, he's like, yeah. He's like, oh. He goes, "Everyone hit me up saying they try to use my photos." Um, <laughs> he's coy. <laughs> he's like, yeah. Like, Boy, that couldn't possibly be me. I'm saying, <laughs> nah. And uh, you know, some people think that I was the one murdering. <laughs> If, you know, if any of you ladies uh, want to get some of my DNA, if you know what I mean, to yeah. maybe a test against the system, I'm happy to provide. Yeah, Isn't this but the next two photos throughout the video are actually photos of me, and I'll prove that later on. But later on, yeah. So here's one of the photos um, on Jason's Visco. It was posted on January 24, 2022. Then here's mine. Here's mine. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I mean, I think this guy is just so this that yeah, he so that doesn't guy. can't be. Not. But how funny is that to have to be like a like a like a fuck boy even in your like yeah, uh, yeah. why I'm innocent? You're still trying to look cute with the girls. He's got the outfit on. It's like you know, I'm just saying. Some people think that I murdered that girl, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, girl, you know that ain't. Me. I can't imagine this was the first take. That, that's what I'm saying. Or first did, outfit. He probably me. had all these outfits. Sure. He's like, <laughs> nah. He's probably wearing like a LeBron jersey. Right. Showing off like the body. He put going, music mm -hmm. under one and he thought that's going to be weird. <laughs> I felt like the first one he probably got, he started like this. Then he started the video and he goes, oh, hey, what's up? Like he gets yeah, caught by the camera. Sure. <laughs> there was like one with like a shaggy, it wasn't me. Like just all this different <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Not not the movie, man. But he is one hundred percent trying to parlay, yeah. like having his identity used for a murder to like getting some pussy. Yeah, or like some <laughs> TikTok clout, something. Yeah, some followers, something. He's got the hood on. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. some people <laughs> might think I'm a murderer, but <laughs> the only I thing can, I'd be murdering is that pussy. I can no? the only thing I'd be murdering is that pussy. I could never do something like that. Cause I'm all about the ladies. Yeah, I would never I, treat I a love. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a hater. I would never <laughs> treat a woman in that manor. Manor. But yeah, that was killing me. <laughs> That's just such a funny R. I'll show you a little. You and her both. Posted on January third, twenty twenty-two. And then here's another photo on Jason Visco. Posted on November tenth, twenty 
2022. Avengers Mine, Visco. Oh, la, oh, is he saying Visco. Discord? Visco, I think he's saying. Oh, oh Visco, okay. I don't know what Visco is. It's VSCO or whatever. It's like some photo sharing app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's 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 100% trying to parlay his little bit of fame from the guy and <laughs> just trying to get some sniz. <laughs> Ah eh, shit! All right. Okay. okay. Well, I thought that was pretty funny, but anyways, all right. So, um, everyone, make sure you come and see me and Danny in Toronto, or come see me in Plano, Texas, this weekend. And then after that, I got Buffalo and Boston. Subscribe to Danny's channel, uh, YouTube underscore Danny. slash underscore Danny. I or saw you got that. Name. I saw that you got that yeah. as your handle. And don't forget to subscribe to the Patreon for a new episode every week of the boys cast all right and we fucking it's been love to, you all and we fu- yo and we love you all oh and that's and crazy like that yo, shit, and you, that, know? <laughs> love you. you know and some people when the when the month ends we get some people that unsubscribe from the patreon that's and you know okay. that just kind of hurts our heart you that know what i mean heart. because your credit card got you. declined but you got to get that you got to get we your fucking, baby girls we credit fucking card. love you you know that we love you. You got to get your baby girl's credit card. We will never forget to do our Patreon episodes. We'll you know what I'm saying? Get that shit.